Now, cryptocurrency, guys, this has been a wild move in the markets. And every time I see this, it just reminds me that we are still in a bear market in crypto. Now, people made fun of me saying it was still a bear market. That's fine. That's part of the job. But what I want to show you is that when you have good news in crypto and the gains go away within a day or two, that is never a good thing. So let's talk quickly about this, right? What do we have here? So if we look at this chart, we can clearly see this was your BlackRock news with a big pop. This was your Ripple news that they won their SEC case, right? And look at how it popped and then the reversal occurred a day later. That's not good. And I even commented, this is what's called a reversal candle. And a reversal candle is never a good thing in a chart when it's at the high end of the range. All right, so what did we do? We trailed off. We then had this dump out. Then right down here, we had the, the grayscale news just a couple days ago. We had a pop. And then two days later, we're back down. That's the classic hallmarks of a bear market. What it's doing is psychologically, it's killing off all the bulls. You get a bunch of bulls here to buy in, okay? And then here, even more bulls buying in, and those bulls are made a fool, essentially putting out of the money. Now, once we got down here, which basically was the start of this move, then these bulls that bought in are like, what the heck, man? I thought this was going to be the new bull market. They get wiped out. Then you get another green pop, which gets more people to go bullish, and they get wiped out as well. And that's the hallmarks of a bear market. All right, it just, it just is what it is. The bear markets, the job of the bear market, and this is a bear market in commodities, in stocks, in crypto, any asset, real estate is included there. A job of a bear market is to break the will of all of the bulls. And when it breaks everyone's will, that's when you get a bottom. 